What's up everyone, this is Anthony and welcome to Quantum Finance. I thought I'd do something different in this video. I will cover four momentum stocks that I think will generate huge profit for the week. If you have not done so, please hit the subscribe button below to help us grow this channel. Please like, share, and comment below. I really do appreciate your support. With that out of the way, let's look at our first stock. Neo closed at $53.20 today. It was down 29 cents or about half percent on a 78% of normal volume. Today's sell-off was purely profit-taking. Note that the stock is in the overbought territory based on a slow stochastic indicator, so sideway movements or a pullback should not be unexpected. It was trading above the Bollinger Band area. It is currently sailing right below its resistance level of $54.31, with a support level at $46.52. Note that Neil has formed somewhat of a head and shoulder pattern. If you look closely, you'll see it. It's, it's kind of an extended head and shoulder pattern. Based on how Neil has traded in the past, expect a breakout above $57.50 level. If the breakout is confirmed, on extreme rally, it could reach $65 to $70 by Neil Day on January 9, 2021. On a realistic predictive model, I assume that it will reach 60 to 65 range. This is more of conservative. With regards to the recent delisting, uh, it looks like New York Stock Exchange won't be delisting Chinese firm despite the executive order signed by President Trump. Therefore, it is probably safe to say that NEO and other Chinese stocks won't be delisted when President Biden takes office on January 20th. Tesla closed at $735.11. It was up $5.44 or 0.75% on a 71% of normal volume. Due to the stock's strong uptrend, it may remain overbought for a while. So if you're looking for a reason to sell, don't put too much weight on it being overbought. It formed an inside day candlestick pattern, which is a range contraction. It traded above the Bollinger Band and closed at its new 52-week high. I anticipate an uptick tomorrow to continue its run to $750. From there, it may trade sideways and uh, bounce a little bit between $730 to $760-ish range before it resumed its run to the $750 to $800 range. The next stock I'd like to talk about is Virgin Galactic Holdings. For those who don't know Virgin Galactic, ticker uh, symbol SPCE, it is a space tourism company. SPCE closed at $24.12. It is up 91 cents or 3.92% on a low volume that's at 52% of normal volume. The stock rose above its 50-day moving average improving its intermediate term outlook by crossing above that important trend line. Note that the stock is in an oversold territory based on its slow stochastic indicator. It did form a bullish and golfing candlestick pattern and indicated that it might reverse its course. It will need confirmation tomorrow, so I will be paying close attention as I anticipate it to be on the upside. It currently sits at the support level of $24.17. Resistance level is at 28. If it rebounds, uh, it could run up to $31 to $33 range. If it fails to rebound, it could go down to the next support level at $20.81. As most of you may be aware that SPCE dropped 30% in December when it failed its test launch. 2020 was a terrible year. It was a major setback uh, for Virgin Galactic. Let's face it, building aircraft to travel space has never been easy. Uh, SPCE is a high risk and a high reward stock as it built a brand new space travel industry. If you believe in the growth story, uh, nothing has changed in Virgin Galactic's course as it entered 2021. Long term, I think this stock would do well. The last stock is FaceBank Group, stock ticker FUBO. It is doing business as FUBO TV, focused on live TV streaming platform for sports, news, and entertainment. It also does sports betting through its FUBU TV in Europe and in the States. FUBO closed at $27.33. It was up a whopping $3.09 or 12.75% on a 5.84 times normal volume. That's about 76 million shares traded. The stock rose above its 50-day moving average, improving its intermediate term outlook by crossing above that important line. Note that the stock is in an oversold territory based on its slow stochastic indicator. This volume surge has formed a doji candlestick, signaling a reversal bullish new uptrend. Watch for a breakout above $29.50 and expect it to reach $36 range. This is a momentum and short-term play. This is a very risky trade. 
I will be watching this stock closely tomorrow and potentially purchase a $30 call option. Let me know if you like the new format and if you like me to analyze any other stocks in this channel. I will be making more detailed video on some of these stocks at a later date. If you have made it this far, please do smash those sub buttons, likes, shares, and comment below. We need your help to grow this channel so that we can continue to create such content um, that everyone can benefit from. And thank you for your support.